I shall now be showering. Bitch, why do I keep saying showering as if we don't know where uh, I'm gonna just shut the fuck up. I'm going to be shaving my legs because, girl, you know, it's that time of the day, month, week, whatever. I'm gonna be using the Truly Beauty Coco Cloud Shaving Butter. When I tell you this, literally is like heaven on my legs. Y'all, y'all gonna see, y'all gonna see. So if you're wondering all the benefits, it tells you everything that's in it. Super trusting, I love it, and I think you guys should totally use this on your legs. They have other types of shave butters too, but this just happens to be my favorite because I love coconut scented things. Now to exfoliate my arms that I just shaved, I'm gonna be using the Blueberry Kush CBD Body Scrub. This is literally my favorite thing ever. Like, I have literally used it so much. I'm literally almost done with it. And it literally smells, makes my skin feel so good. I totally, 100% recommend y'all get this one. Alrighty, so I just got out of the shower as y'all can tell because bitch, a bitch was musty Like I ain't gonna lie like I needed that shower so so let me just quickly rinse my face because my face feels kind of like Dry if that makes sense. My face is already like washed. I just needed to like rinse it <laughs> I probably should not be using like a harsh ass towel on my head But I don't know if it's for people when I pat like my skin super like rough and shit my skin Becomes really red. We have that. Um, I'm going to be applying my moisturizer that I always use this is just any moisturizer that you can get that just has SPF in it. And then I'm just prepping my skin because right now I want to go get my eyebrows done because these bitches is not... I have, I have not plucked them in a five minutes, so... I'm going to be applying this Truly Beauty Anti-Puff Eye Cream. But something that I've really been liking about this because if y'all know me, I have, um, like, raccoon eyes. So, like, it always looks like I have no sleep. But what I really like about this is when I apply it, like, I notice right away that, like, my dark circles go away. Um, it really just takes away the puffiness in my eyes because I always wake up with, like, ojos hinchados, like, puffy eyes. Um, and dude, when I put it, it literally feels so, like, brightening, like, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like it literally is working while I'm applying it. And then, like, it feels super hydrating, so my eyes don't feel dry, like I just said. You can just apply it under your eyes, but I like to apply it everywhere, and it just works so good. It does such a good job of just getting rid of, like, all the darkness and dark shadows of your eyes. And y'all know me that I cannot go any day in my life with having dry ass lips so after that i'm gonna be applying the unicorn fruit lip plumping balm by truly beauty literally this is one of the most cutest like lip plumps balms whatever i have ever seen in my life it's really like a unicorn took a little poop in there like it's just so cute what i would probably say i really like about this product right here is that when i apply it it's super soothing it's literally so plumping like bitch you can feel it work like it literally makes your lips plump as fuck it just makes your lips super like moisturized. It really hydrates them, so I don't really feel like my lips get chapped throughout the day. 100% recommend this. It's just so cute. Like, look at it. Like, it's so cute. It's like a little unicorn, it's like a little dump in there. I've always dealt with like little like bumps on my face. Like, I, I'll, I'll always have some form of like fits or like pimples on my face. So as you can tell, I've been getting some because bitch has been stressed. So honestly, 100%, I can really say I've been using the Truly Beauty Hemp Breakout Patches. I'm pretty sure you've seen everyone using these. Like literally, these are so high and I totally understand why they're high because they honestly do work for me at least. So they're just little CBD ones, so they're now I actually be like, you get the idea. Some of them are gone because I have been using these like a motherfucker. Like, I literally love the way they work. So I, I just apply them on any problem areas where I have like zits or something. Um, and I've really noticed that they're really good at treating and like soothing any zits or pimples I have. Like, I leave these on maybe for like a good hour. Within that hour, like, I'll take them off and obviously some form of pus come out, which is good. I feel like that that's how you know it's working. So, okay, so these have been on for about a good five minutes, but I'm gonna just keep them on and I'm just gonna brush out my hair. So you guys are gonna see me do that. I've had these on for a good half an hour, so I'm gonna be taking them off. Ooh, that is not cute. I don't even wanna show y'all what's on there. Alright, before I get started with my makeup, 
makeup and I head out and get my eyebrows done. I'm gonna be using the Volcanic Rose Water Hydrating Mist. This is literally one of my easily like favorite products by them. It's literally one of the best like mist I've used on my face that doesn't like give me any acne because I feel like when a lot of like mist that I've tried have some type of like um scent in them, it's always caused me to break out, but not this bitch. Like this literally works miracles. So I'm just gonna put some on. And literally the scent is like so good. But besides the scent, like I just like it because when I use it before I apply my makeup, it always helps make sure that my skin looks like bright and it makes sure that like it's like smooth. And y'all, when I tell you this shit, like really just helps my skin like look its brightest. It really rejuvenates it as well. And it just gives you like, like a smooth look. This is like really good to apply before your makeup because it just makes your whole skin look like smooth as fuck. It really just hydrates my face too, which I like because like I said, I have combination skin, so I don't like having dry skin. And this really just does the job in keeping it hydrated. All right, so I just let my hair dry and then change my shirt because I got a stain on it. But right now, to get started with this like tutorial, I'm gonna get ready with me. I'm gonna be blow drying my hair. I don't know what the fuck do you? What do you guys be calling this? Like a uh, hair hair curler blower, hair blower, hair hair blower blow girl. Um, I don't know if I want to play music and talk to you guys because I'm really bad with get ready with me like I'm gonna just separate my hair into two This is also kind of like a tutorial on how to if you're like dumb like me And you don't know how to like work with um, layers or like if you have like a wolf cut or you, you know You just like to blow dry your hair and shit Um, this is the way to do it. Not my nipple being hard. Um, by the way, if you're wondering I don't know when or when my mom got this but this is like super fucking old like you can you can see what's, I don't know if you can see, but you can literally see the mechanical wiring and shit. But this is a Conair 1000 watt blow dryer curler. You know doing my thing with my hair this is kind of like my very natural day-to-day -day makeup um if you're looking to see my makeup when like my eyebrows done i'll do that in a different video today i'm just gonna be going out doing some errands maybe so i'm just gonna be showing you guys the makeup i do all the time okay so the first thing i like to do is i like to go in with the elf camo concealer um this is the 16 hour camo concealer matte finish i go with a matte finish because my face is oily so i can't really it doesn't look cute for me to add more more oily looking uh, facial products. I just grab a little bit like this and then I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna put it into my problem areas. Sometimes I put a little too much on certain areas so I'll just grab some of it and I'll apply it. This is a little lighter than my shade because I'm not that white. That can never be a makeup artist. Like I just don't know how to explain shit well. Like even I'll be sometimes like watching my own videos or I'll be listening to myself and I'm like Girl, you don't make no fucking sense. Like, when I do my makeup just like natural like this, I just like to go in with fingers. I feel like it just gives a more natural look that way. I'm gonna blend it out the best I can. I'm not gonna blend too much under my eyes because I like to go in with a different concealer for that. If I'm getting impatient with my fingers, I'll usually go in with my beauty blender. To cover up my eyelids and under eyes, I like to go in with this concealer. Um, I don't know where it's from. It just kind of appeared in my makeup. By She Glam. I don't know where that's from, to be honest. I don't ever remember buying this. I like to just brush up my eyebrows. Um, just to give y'all a heads up, I do not go in with my eyebrows. My bathroom likes to do that a lot, so. Now we're gonna be going in with the CoverGirl Clean Professional Translucent Powder in the shade Translucent Fair because I've always been like the shade fair my whole life. Like I'm not like you know like a white girl, I'm not like white white, but I go in with the beauty blender and I just like uh, bake under my eyes. Not like heavily bake, but you know, just kind of like give it a smooth look. And now we basically have like a base to work with. So from here, I like to um, contour slash bronze. Once again, I really don't know the difference. Like I like to use this palette. It's called Stereo Face Six Color Cosmetic Disc um, by She Glam. Once again, I don't know where this brand comes from. I want to say it's from Shein because I don't ever remember physically going to buy this. I already kind of have like cheekbones. Like you can only see I have like like lines so that just kind of helps me like configurate, configure, like where I'm gonna contour. So 
So I'm gonna go in back with that translucent powder and this is where I'm going to cut, like bake. And then I just dab. Um, I make sure this is not too white so it doesn't look too like noticeable. So I'm just gonna let that bake so it can stay as white as it can. Listen, y'all, I could be really wrong, but I wanna say this is a Milani blush. Um, y'all let me know. I'm pretty sure it is. Because I used to use this one, but that shit broke. This is a Milani blush in the shade Dolce Pink. Dulce Pink. So I just kind of twist it. I don't do too much because these blushes are pigmented. So from here, I'm going to do my mascara. So I'm going to show you guys my mascara routine. Y'all going to be like, what the fuck, bitch? Do not do that. But I do this because it really just makes my lashes look really nice. Because as you know me, I have no lashes. Like, that is all you're going to get. I use this one curler that looks like this. It's not going to lie, this kind of fucking hurts. Y'all, this is my secret to really, like, getting your lashes to the full maximum length it could be. I'll be doing my lip routine. So this is what you guys probably want to see. So quickly, I'm just gonna put in some of the lip balm. Tell you, shit is a blessing. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with this LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner in the shade Sugar and Spice because period. I don't even overline. I literally just go in with like the shape of my lip, like my cupid's bow. To make sure that the lip goes everywhere, I usually, I usually use this matte lipstick by Beauty Creations in the shade Totally Nude. It's such a pretty pink, y'all. Like, no lo pueden mirar bien, pero such a pretty pink. I just grab a little bit with my pinky because this bitch is hella matte, and my lips get really crusty throughout the day, so I don't want to, I don't want to try to see it. So I just go in on my bottom lip. Okay, and then I go in with my favorite lip gloss ever by Victoria's Secret. It's called Victoria's Secret Get Lost in the shade Peekaboo. You guys have, for sure, if you suck around, you've heard me use this lip gloss like all the time. So I just go in here. The mascara that I will always use and run by is the Telescopic because I've never been shown any other kind of mascara that has, I don't know, like this is just a mascara for me. So I just go in with this one. I take off a lot of the mascara on the actual wand because I feel like there's always a shit ton. And boom! Bada bing! Your girl is done and I just got some on my lid. That's embarrassing. So basically, this is what it looks like once I have finished, you know. Oh, I look so good, y'all. Bitch, period! So to set off everything, I'm gonna be going back in with the rose water just to, you know, hydrate my face and just make it look... Just so this bitch will last all day, you know? And basically, this is my natural everyday makeup look. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to watching this. I'm sorry if I bored you. I know, I talk a lot. I gave you guys that fair warning. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. And I also wanted to just take the time to give a big thank you to Truly Beauty for sponsoring and working with me on this video. They are literally so sweet enough to send me their products. And I genuinely have always loved their products. Like, if you have not heard of Truly Beauty, Literally run to your nearest Sephora and Ulta and cop some Truly Beauty products. I totally 100% recommend them with my whole heart. I also want to say that if you guys do or are, or are interested into buying some products, I will have my coupon code down below. Make sure to check them out. Buy the shit that I told you guys to buy. So thank you so much once again, Truly Beauty, for sponsoring and collabing with me on this video. And also thank you guys just for watching the video and, you know, tagging along with me to get ready. I love you guys so much and I hope that you guys are having a beautiful day, my beautiful Kirkinators. Bye. Stay cray cray. It's just so fucking cute like and this is my makeup lasting like i'm telling y'all my makeup just lasts now my eyebrows looking hella ugly though dude that's what i should have done yeah, i should have got my eyebrows done yeah here we are mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. get to that crunch bite that shit oh <laughs> bust <laughs> yo this shit is so busting like i literally want to tear up because it is so fucking